Hi y'all, it's Skye and thanks for visiting my channel. Well, I've got another Diamond Art Club unboxing for you guys. This is one that I got during the anniversary sale a few weeks ago. And well, hang on, let me readjust the camera really quick so I can show you. We've got Nugget here for this one. This is a very special pug themed kit. So, hey, are you, are you excited, Nugget? So excited. So as you might have guessed, this kit is Pug and Smoothie by Marilyn Kazanov. This kit is a partial and it is round drill, so that is pretty cool. So this is how we know it's round drill. Do you see Nugget is slowly creeping into the shot here. He's probably going to be <laughs> right in this corner pretty soon. And I imagine you can hear him snoring. But anyway, round drill, yes. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at the box. We've got information on the back, coupon code to scan, and then I'm going to tear off this plastic. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, plastic's off. Now we can check out what's in here. Now my goal for this video is actually to finish this kit. Like I, I really want to start it like right now. So I wanted to film this unboxing so that I could kit it up and get going on it. And I'm hoping that I can finish it in, in, you know, a relatively short amount of time so that I can go ahead and show you what it looks like finished at the end of this video. So here is our small sticker. Gosh, this image is just so cute. And then we did get the new toolkit with this one. Let's see what we've got. Oh, Nugget is super interested in what's in here. You can't run off with this, buddy. Oh, I finally, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, okay. We'll talk about that in just a second. I'm gonna go through all the other stuff. Okay, we've, we've got our bag of baggies. We've got our diamond painting pin and the squishy. Like, look at this one. I don't think I've ever, I mean, I've gotten plenty of blue ones, but the, not the ones with the glitter. Can you see that? Is it picking up? I hope so. But then the little squishy just goes right like that. Then we've got all of these cool items. We've got multi-placers, and then we've got the tray with a stopper, and then we've got our red wax inside this little container. You guys, this was a bad idea for me to try to hold all this at once, but anyway, red wax in the container. Then we've got our adorable washi. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I haven't seen this one before. Okay, also super excited. I've been seeing these rose cover minders for months and I've never gotten one and I love this color. It's just, these are just so detailed. I think this has been my favorite cover minder of all the ones that I've seen is this rose one. Okay, now for the canvas. I cannot wait to see this. Let me see if I can get the drills to come out first. Okay. We've got our, our thank you pamphlet. Just got some things to scan in there to get you to the VIP Facebook group or a video about how to diamond paint, coupon code, and then these QR codes will lead you to the app if you don't already have that. Then we've got our larger sticker sheet. It's, this is just so cute. Okay, let me tell you the dimensions on it while we're looking at this. So 51 by 51. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. So we got 55 colors in this, wow. I, I think I knew that, but still, it always amazes me how many colors are in a kit. These are individual stickers to put on your containers while you're kitting up. How many ABs? 
three ABs. Nice. Okay, one more look at the cuteness before I put this down. <laughs> You guys, I know that you can tell that I'm really excited about this kit. I mean, I hope that you can tell, but probably because I'm like rushing through all of this stuff so that I can see the canvas. <laughs> okay, here we are. Okay, that's the bottom. Let, okay, I already know the camera is not right. Let me readjust real quick. Are you, are you ready to see it, Nook? Oh my goodness, the excitement. I can see it in your eyes. Okay, <laughs> I think this will be better. Look at the face. Okay, let me let me roll it so that you guys can see it better. Also, let's just let's just get that cute little pug face in the shot for a second. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. It is so cute. So I did just roll this backwards. I mean, you can see that it's it's still a little wavy, but that's going to flatten out in no time. I'm not worried about that. But oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I need to start on this immediately. I don't know if you guys are gonna want like a whole slow pan feature of this because you know, it's, it's pretty small and I think I've got it all in the shot. It is a partial, so all the edges are not going to need drills to be placed. It's just the smoothie and the pug and the little surrounding um, candies and things. So we do have our legends on both sides. I do want to take a look at that so that we can see if there are any symbols that I think might be problematic. And the reason that I like to look at these on the canvas in the legend instead of on the sticker sheet is, well, let me just bring you a little closer. You see that there's like texture on the canvas the, the little glitter inlay that Diamond Art Club does is there, plus there's just, there's just texture. I don't know what other word to say, but you can see how the light is kind of hitting it there. And I feel like that gives you a better representation of how the symbols look on the canvas rather than like the sticker sheet where, I mean, these are gonna be clear. There's <laughs> no doubt about it. So I think that if you were gonna find a concerning symbol, you would be more likely to find it here and I do think that Diamond Art Club rarely ever has concerning symbols, so it can just showcase how good their symbols do look on the canvas. So yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see anything that I am alarmed about, but that's just for you guys to take a look at. Everybody has the symbol that is their enemy, and I don't know which one it is for you. For me, it is arrows going different directions that are similar in color. Can't do it. The arrows and the, let's see if there's one on here, like the corners. Those. Those will kill me if there's too many of them. Okay, time for drills. Y'all, there are so many pinks in this kit. It's like it was meant for me. Okay, let me show you. We've got 3350, 3861, 3860, 310 and 779, 819, 3325, 961, 718, 3608. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. All pinks are pretty. 604. Ooh, I like that. 3731, 605, 3064. 3371, 155, 3024, 3772, 340, and 128, a pink AB. Oh, that is so nice. I would love if it would focus. Okay, <laughs> I think you can see it now. Look at the sparkle on that pink. 738, 739, 322, 3770, 648, 402, 3768, 351, 783, 3746, 912, 498, 
347, 954, and 913, 334, 352, 3811, 211, 452, 3755, 437, 3607, 124. Oh my goodness. They have put two pink ABs in this kit. Wow. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to get started. It looks like we got another little pink buddy in there. Okay. 3855, 3841, 150, 632, 955, 677, 754, 782, 3733, 938, and 141. So this is our last AB, this white AB. I hope you can see the shine on those. So that's all the drills. Most of the bags were very small because this is a smaller diamond painting, so I'm not surprised with that. But I have separated the three ABs so we can look and see where they go. So let's see what symbol number one is the 124. So this first pink AB, and let's see where we can find that. It looks like this one is mostly in the smoothie. This section up here is a big block of that first pink AB, and then there's a little line of it right there. I thought I saw some more maybe up here in the, oh yeah, there we go, up here in the berries. Just kind of speckled through there. Let's see if there's any in the straw. I can see the other ABs in there, so we'll be back up here. But that is the only ones that I spotted. So I guess that will be the main place that they have those. I Wow, I, I really hope that I'm picking up all of Nugget Snores because I think this is his video to really shine. Anyway, <laughs> um, the, the candy down here does not have that first AB in it, so. Uh, let's move on to the number two AB, which is the 128. And that is in the candy down here. So let me bring it a little closer for you. So there's a good bit of it just kind of throughout the candies. Some through here. Did I already point at that? Maybe. And then over here as well. There's a big section right there. Not too terribly much. And I don't think there's any in, oh no, I was wrong. There is some in the pug's little glasses right there and then right there as well. And I know that you're seeing all these threes, but we are gonna, <laughs> we'll look at that one more time in just a minute. And then we saw that up in the straw just a minute ago when we were looking for ones. There are some twos and some threes, of course. I think that's pretty much it for the second pink AB. Then we have the number three AB, our white AB, quite a chunky bag. Probably, actually, I think this is the biggest amount of drills in the entire kit. I, I don't want to promise you that, but I do think that this was the biggest bag with the biggest number of drills in it. So that is cool that it's an AB. But we have seen threes all along while we've been looking at this. So here they are. Threes, threes everywhere. Threes, threes. Tons of threes. And then this whole section here. Wow. And then there's just a little bit in that candy. Some more. There. So much. And then in those places, in the sunglasses where we saw twos, well not right here, here. That was where I saw it. 
right there in the sunglasses. I don't think, oh, a little bit in that puggy eye right there. What about the other eye? Nope, don't see it there. I think that's it for the actual pug. Let's look in our smoothie. Oh, yes, tons through here. And then, of course, in the straw that we've now looked at three times, <laughs> there's some more in there. A very shiny straw. Okay, you guys, I feel like we have looked at this canvas pretty in depth, so you have gotten to see the way the symbols are dispersed. But just because I always like to talk about color blocking versus confetti, I am gonna go ahead and mention that here. I think the smoothie area looks like a good bit of color blocking. Each of these um, different color changes has a pretty big section of one color. I mean, it does change, like there's there's two different blue, or three, four different blues in here. So, I mean, you are changing colors, but there will be like a pretty large section of, of each one of those. And then we looked at that big color blocking section of the threes. But then the pug though, looks like he is, or she. I, I say he because I all, always associate with nugget, but this pug has a lot of confetti, looks like. So there's something for everyone to love with this one. I think that it's gonna work up quickly because it's small. And so I don't think that if, if you don't like color blocking or you don't like confetti, I don't think there's enough of either one to make you feel overwhelmed. So yeah, I'm, I'm all right, there was another nugget snore. <laughs> I hope it picked up. <laughs> anyway, um, that's, that's my thoughts on this kit. I do want to get started on it so that I can show you the finish. I don't know why I keep telling you that. Like you will already know by the title of this video if I've done that or not. So I am just going to go ahead, get started, and I will update you guys in what will seem like mere seconds, but will probably be some time for me. So see you guys in a week or two. Okay, you guys, I have finished pug and smoothie. It has not really been very many days. Nugget is here with me again, being very grunty today. I wonder if I can get him. Hi. <laughs> okay, so this kit was an absolute joy to work on. There's Nugget's head. I, I really don't think that this is gonna be like a post review, more like a finish reveal. I don't remember what I said I was going to do in the first video, but I don't think there's really any need in me telling you that this was great to work on. Um, after I kitted it up, this was how much space it took up in these types of containers. I did have to get one extra little row out of another box, but I did have enough drills to be able to finish everything. Um, where's the one? This one here. This one scared me a little bit. I mean, you can tell there's still, there's still some in there, but that was the closest call. I really got scared that I was gonna run out of that one. I got a little scared on this one, but you can see I had plenty left. Uh, and yeah, everything, everything I had plenty of. I did wanna show you like, do you remember that big bag? of 141 that white ab and that's all that's left so this canvas is so shiny so gorgeous and i'm going to show it to you but i don't know <laughs> if our dear nugget may have to move out of the way for you to be able to see it but we'll figure that out okay you guys here it is oh my goodness it's so cute Every time I look at it, it puts a smile on my face. I could not recommend this more highly. It really worked up quickly. I, I think there was more confetti in the pug's face than I had really realized, which it wasn't an overwhelming amount or anything. I was still able to use my multiplacer. It wasn't a big deal, but it was just more than I thought. The smoothie was more color blocking than I thought, because I had seen whenever we were looking at this a few days ago and we were talking about, okay, I really want to bring this closer. There we go. And we were talking about like all of the different blues and purples in these sections here. Um, 
and there it, that wasn't wrong but it was just just big chunks so I just the it just worked up so fast just these little sections that I could just place very quickly and then this whipped cream it like you can see the the shine there like the white AB is all through there like pretty much all the whipped cream is white AB there's I mean obviously it's outlined in a different color but a lot of white AB in there the little candies at the bottom have a lot of ABs in them too I I hope that you can see how much shine is happening here I don't know if I need to do like a slow pan on this I really feel like you're seeing it pretty well so I'm just gonna kind of bring it closer so you can see it sparkle in the light oh it's so good hi nugget <laughs> as far as the trash situation I didn't collect the trash I don't typically do that but I can tell you that there was hardly any like just very very little I did decide to do a quick view of the whole thing from directly above so you'll be able to see that I don't know if I'll put music to it or if I'll just you know put it right here while I'm rambling on about it but I did want you to be able to see it from straight above instead of at an angle like this just I don't know because I'm very excited about it and I want you to be too I think you probably already figured out by now that I didn't have any problems with <laughs> this kit uh, the canvas was wonderful the drills were wonderful the rendering is wonderful it is as expected from Diamond Art Club I am just so excited to be able to show it to you and I did show it to Nugget earlier and I tried to video his response I'm not really sure how much I got in the frame and you know it's just for cuteness but I'll put that clip in here Okay y'all, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and finish reveal of Pug and Smoothie from Diamond Art Club. And I hope to be able to show you more videos like this in the future where I can actually unbox it and complete it and show you what it looks like. But you know, that's gonna not be every video. That's, that's a lot to handle. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you got this kit and if you've done it yet and tell me if you liked it or not. Are you as excited about it as I am? I think this might be the first one actually that I do figure out how to hang. I don't know if I wanna frame it. I don't know if I want to like paint the edges or I don't know, I just cannot decide. Like this one, I don't know. Like if I just cut the edges since this is a partial, if I was able to just cut the sides and then like find something sticky to just mount it to the wall, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I can't decide what I want to do, but I do want to hang this somewhere because I just want to see it all the time. Okay, I was ending the video and now I'm off on another ramble. So really this time, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.